I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to use the graph of two different functions to get the value of a new function. So the question here is use the given graphs of f and g to evaluate each expression or express why it is undefined. So we have four questions here. The first one is f of f of 2. Now this one parabola is the graph of the function f of x and this transformed square root function is the graph for the function g of x. You need to evaluate f of f of 2, f of g of minus 2, f of g of minus 1 and g of f of minus 2. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now whenever you have to evaluate function of a function you have to start from inside out. So the, the key here is to go from inside out. So when we say f of f of 2, you need to evaluate what is f of 2 first. That is the inside function, right? So that means this parabola which represents f of x, the output of this parabola when x is 2. When x is 2, it is this point, right, which is 0. So this is equals to f of 0. Do you get the idea? So we get f of 0. Now you need to find what is f of 0. So f of x is the parabola. At 0, the value here is minus 1. So you get minus 1 as your answer. Correct? So that is how you have to evaluate these functions of functions. You can still pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let's do the next one, which is f of g of minus 2. Now, g of x is that square root transform function. At minus 2, the value here is minus 2, right? So, we'll write this function as equals to f of minus 2. Since at minus 2, the value is minus 2, right? That's the value. Now we have to read the value of the function parabola f of minus 2. At minus 2, the value is 0, right? So we get this as equal to 0, okay? I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So let's try one more to really understand this. So here we have combined f and g. g of minus 1 is the inside function. So the parabola g of minus 1, g of minus 1 is 0, right? So we can write this as equals to f of 0. Now what is the value of f of 0? It is minus 1. So we get minus 1 as the result. The last one here is f of g of minus 2. Now what is f of minus 2? f of minus 2 is, is 0, right? So f of minus 2 is 0. That is what it is. So we could write this as equal to g of 0. And what is g of 0? So for this square root function, g of 0 is this value, which you cannot read accurately from the graph, but you can estimate, right? So we say approximately, it is less than 1. So let's say 0 0.75, 1 quarter, right? So I'm assuming this to be half of half. So that is the approximate value, which I assumed. Now, let me give you another question here. Now, this time, <clears throat> we'll try to find what is g of f of minus 4. Can you do this one? What is g of f of minus 4? So, that's the question for you. Well, let's look into it. Let's first find the inside function, which is f of minus 4. So, at minus 4, I get this value, which is 3. So I could write this as equal to g of minus 3, right, g of minus 3. Now, this square root function is only defined in the domain greater than or equal to minus 2. It is not defined at minus 3, correct? So the answer for this is that it does not exist. It is undefined. It does not exist or it is undefined. So it is important to note that if the value is out of the domain of the outside function, right, that means the range of inside function is not coinciding with the domain of the outside function, then 
we do not have a defined result so in that case we may get undefined value right so i hope with this exercise you clearly understand functions of functions and how to evaluate them using their graphs amadil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thanks for watching